Hey y'all, all right, I'm getting ready to go inside of the beauty store and I'm gonna show you the couple of different brands that they actually have in the beauty store, some of the products that I actually purchased already and just show you what you should pick up if you're doing just a basic makeup application. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Oh, oh no, good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. LA Colors is a brand that I purchased the brushes from. This flathead brush right here. I love it. I use it to apply my makeup. We all know NYX. And it's very large in the beauty store. Major brand here. There's Kiss brand as well. And then there is LA Girl. All these brands carry pretty much everything that you need in order to do a full look. Picked up so far is the Epic Liner and Vamp. Vamp pencil and vamp lipstick. So this is the brand that I prefer, of course, which is Nika K. I've got the pressed powder right here. And I have the highlighter right here. I purchased the matte foundation right here. I purchased the setting spray. I did not purchase the powder. And I did purchase the concealer. No, 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 don't give me them uh, 50 millimeters. I need me. You know oh which ones I'll be using? I'm recording y'all. Oh, this? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to show you. These super long. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We were this store is so me. neat. Okay. This is the lashes. They extend. I mean, all of this is lashes. Right here. All the way down here. So. We know that, what well, if you don't know, this is a good brand. My daughter prefers number 11. I'm gonna try this one right here. The next brand is Velux. That is a good brand. So I hear, and they also have some with the stones on it as well. And then we'll move on down here to IMV, of course. IMV, but I prefer, this. all of this is IMV from the purple and pink boxes there all the way down to these here. But if you see which ones are mainly gone, then you can tell which ones we actually prefer. Okay. Lashes are a preference, your preference. And these are the ones that you probably see on Amazon. And this brand right here, Miss, used to be a hit especially when people first started wearing lashes before the minks and all of those came out this miss brand right here was popular okay we have these okay all right we got here and this has been your tour of the hair department we didn't even go in the hair section Ugh. That hair section is huge, bro. If you have seen my video that tells you the five biggest mistakes that beginners make or makeup hacks, then you know I'm telling you not to use black eyeliner in order to do, or black lip liner, whichever pencil you pick up, to do your brows. So the one thing that I do notice while I'm actually doing my brows is that I have to press a little bit harder than what I would normally press with my Benefit Brow Pencil in order to get the color to come off. So. It's not to say that it's not a good pencil. It's just to say that you just have to press a little harder. <laughs> Yep, I'm going back to the good old days when we all used to use LA Girl Pro Conceal and some of us still do. And there is nothing wrong with LA Girl Pro Conceal. It works like any other concealer. While you're watching me actually apply this, y'all, I want y'all to know it dries down a little bit quicker than what I remember. So just make sure that you do one at a, one eye at a time. You go ahead and press that product in and then move on to the other eye because you don't want to be sitting there with that stuff just sitting on your face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stuff concealer don't look good. This one is a different shade. That's why I'm showing it to you. So I'm going to use this one on the front portion of my brows. 
I think it's just a, a hair darker. Yeah, this is not as dark as I need it to be because I don't want this to look stark. No, 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 no. So actually I'm not going in with that color. I'm gonna change my mind. Let me get another one, hold on. I'm gonna try this one, Dark Cocoa. It's still LA Girl Pro Conceal, still from Beauty. I wanted it, ooh, yeah, kinda, hmm. Yeah, that's a little dark, but it's not as stark as that lighter color would have been. And what I mean by stark is that part you saw me blending in right in the forefront of my brows, I don't want that to be the first thing you see when you see my face. Very, like it is under my brows. No, we don't want that. So, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna use that dark cocoa to go on the top portion of my eyes and I'll cover it up with my foundation of my brows, I should say, because this is not eyes. So I'm just showing you the two differences so you can see the one where I did the top of my brow, the one where I didn't do the top of my brow. We'll get on to the next step because not gonna. this is not a brow tutorial. What y'all see me doing right here is I'm taking my Real Techniques Crisp Crease, get my words together. I'm taking my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm applying the rest of that LA Girl Pro Conceal onto the remainder of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Elf Setting Powder. I'm sorry y'all, I do not have a beauty store setting powder. However, Elf is very close to drugstore and is very reasonably priced. So since we're using some things from the beauty store that seem to be reasonably priced, I felt this would be right, I'm gonna pop in with another little tip to help out my beginners. If you are not very good with your wing liner, then you can use these elf strips to help you get your wing liner exactly where you want it. It'll basically give you a line to trace. That's, that's the bottom line, okay? So these elf strips help you with your wing liner if you're not very good with doing your wing liner just yet. Okay, right, so now y'all see me going in with my Ruby Kisses palette. If you have not seen my recreate makeup video where I recreated a look from 2021 Valentine's Day, then you should check that video out because I do compare this same palette to none other than the Natasha Denona. I compared this same palette to that Natasha Denona palette. And I'm telling you this $2.99 palette held its own next to that $50 palette, okay? So I already know that we not sleeping on the beauty store palette, especially in this Ruby Kisses brand. Now I know that you saw from the clip or I'll insert here from the clip from the beauty store. You can see that they have Secrets of Pharaoh. I've never tried this. I did place it on the back of my hand and see if like the pigment would pick up. And it did, I mean, it did. If you guys want me to try that out and see if that actual brand works as well as this Ruby Kisses brand, drop me a comment below and let me know and I'll go ahead and review that one. Yeah, just keep watching me apply this because baby, it's like butter. <laughs> Another tip, once I get done doing my actual eyeshadow, I turn my mirror over and I look into the 10 times side to make sure that my blending is done properly. So do that, okay? Let me know how you like that tip down below. Okay, y'all see me going in with my NYX liquid liner. This is the best liner that I know to do a wing liner with is a liquid liner. Now I'm not saying NYX in particular, but just a liquid liner, okay? And you wanna use a very light hand when you're creating that tip, that wing, just, just flick at the wrist, you know, just use a flick at the wrist when you're creating that, that wing, okay? Okay, this is definitely a beauty brand I've never heard of. It's You Smoothing Primer, but it is a matte primer and it says it on the back. I didn't show that to you guys. Just to give you a point of context, this one is a matte primer as well. I only prime my T-zones, okay? That's typical. I've stopped trying to prime my entire face because it just doesn't need it. Immediately you notice the color as soon as I put this on, right? This is the color Coco Kisses from Black Radiance. It's their loose setting powder. It is yet another drugstore brand that I think you can get away with as far as, you know, your coins, okay? But just make sure you go light when you get ready to put this on top of your primer, okay? Don't be light. See, I was at the store yesterday and I thought that I had the shade 420. I actually have the shade 430 because I did try this foundation out already on my face and I felt like this was a little bit too dark, but I was able to pull it off. It wasn't dark, dark like the Fenty, but it was, it was, it was giving not my shade. However, we're gonna use it anyhow. Pump two pumps. Oh, let me show it to you. <laughs> Sorry about that. It is definitely Ruby, Ruby Kisses by Kiss. By Kiss, look, the people who do lash, I mean, who do, 
Yeah, who do lashes? Okay, I just noticed that. Anywho, I'm here for it. So I'm going to use the brush I told y'all I picked up, which is by LA Colors. And we're going to apply. Okay, as I'm applying this, I don't know if you guys can see, I am tugging at the foundation. And I, I, I'm not gonna blame the foundation. What I'm gonna blame it on is this is, I use a matte primer. I use a matte foundation and then I put powder in between it. Now, I've done this before with other, you know, foundations. I can't say for sure if they were matte or not, but typically I like a matte foundation. But it could have been the fact that it wasn't a matte foundation, so it wasn't gripping as if you see it gripping here. And that's the only thing that I noticed. Um, so it felt like I had to do, you know, put a little more, a little more elbow grease into it when I was, you know, trying to move that product around on my face because, woo, we don't want foundation to just stay in one spot. So tip from this is to maybe do without the actual powder in between your primer and your foundation. That's the tip. Hey, if y'all are still around at this point, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that like button if anything has resonated with you or you have learned anything thus far. My question to you now is what do you think so far? The eyes, the foundation, the primer, from just looking at me, what is it that you are thinking at this point? Would you try beauty store brands or are you saying, Nah, I'm gonna stay away from that because that's just not my zhish. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think and we gonna continue this look. You know what, I do have a little tip, a little, a little nugget to drop to my babies, okay? A little nugget. Use the same color concealer that you used under your brow, right here to conceal as well, under your eye. Keep it consistent, okay? So when people look at you, your face is in several different shades of, you know, light and dark, okay? All right, makes sense? All right. <laughs>I got a question for you. Hey, hey. No, for real, I do have a question. How long are y'all out here letting y'all concealer sit before y'all actually, you know, go ahead and blend it in? We need answers, okay? We need answers. Drop those answers below. Let us sister know, okay? I always say that, and y'all don't ever say nothing. Say something, doggone it. Talk back to me so I feel like I'm not sitting here in front of this camera talking to myself. Don't hurt my feelings. If you see this, say something. If you see something, say something. <laughs> what you see me applying now is my Born to Glow by NYX. This is in the shade Deep Espresso. If you're interested, it is at your beauty store. That was quite a lot, Leandra. Oh, and if you're interested in this small, small brush, this is an e.l.f. brush that I picked up from CVS. And I got it because it is the same shape as the LA, I wanna say LA Girl Pro Casu. It is the same shape as the LA Colors. So I felt like keeping the same dome shape keeps everything consistent on my face. I don't know if that actually is an accurate thing, but it sounds good. Hey, by the time I go to wipe that concealer in, that concealer gonna be doing its own thing. It's time. <laughs> well, hmm, look at that. Who'd have dunk it? I probably, you know, went in a little too much, but we'll fix it. <laughs> Thank you.
For one, I think that the shades that I chose are too high for my skin tone. Or for the look I was going for. This definitely don't look like a everyday look. This looked like it can turn into a very high glam very easily. Now, I typically have a lot of face powders that I put on prior, like in between, you know, and on top and like, I, I don't have that luxury right now because I'm using very much so drugstore or beauty store <laughs> options. So I'm gonna go back in and do what I think I normally would do. Um, this is just the same, this is the same brush that I use with the foundation. So I'm trying to make the line where I place the darker color the concealer and all that disappear. Same thing here. Remember I told you it was sticking though, so baby, we gonna do the best we can. Hmm. Tone that down some. Go back to where the actual it is. Just the top. Under here, under here, under the da. Under here, under the da. Honestly, I don't think it looks horrible. I think that the colors are just um, very bright. You know, they're not my shade and that's fine. Work on that. I can work on my old colors. Maybe you can work on your colors, Leandra. What y'all think? What y'all think? What you thinking? Tell me what you thinking. I know you see lines. I know you see harsh lines. I know you see things. I, I, I got that. I understand that. You should see things. Okay. It's not all, all peaches and cream over here. Okay. But we trying to get it there. Maybe I, I, I don't think it look horrible. Like, I could live with this in real life. I'm gonna go see what it look like outside and that might scare me, but right now it's giving a look. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna set this in plain white or I wanna set it with a color. I'm making this face because I know y'all finna be mad at me because I did all these beauty store products and for the setting powder, I just don't have a beauty store brand. I don't, other than setting this clear, which I know clearly it won't work because I can see, we all can see these different tones on my face. And if I set this with a translucent powder, that's what it's gonna look like. And that's very stark. And I don't want that. You don't want that. We don't want that. I gotta go to the powders that I actually have. So what I'm gonna be using, I'm sorry y'all, is a Fenty Beauty. This shade, I'm gonna show you. That way, at least you can find something comparable at the beauty store. I cannot promise you no flashback and all that other great stuff. But what I can promise you is that you'll have a setting powder. And I'll tell you what, Fenty Beauty is not even the one that I typically go to. It's not my go-to shade. Ooh, what is that? What just happened right there? Yeah, it, uh, it, it looks exactly how I thought it would look. I wanted to go outside today. I wanted to take pictures. I can't go like this. <laughs> fix it. Fix it, Leandra. Fix it. Fenty smells so delicious. I ain't gonna lie. Like her powder, Rihanna's powder or the Fenty brand powder smells absolutely amazing. It makes me think that my face is gonna smell good. And I don't even know what a smelling good face would be like. Not a face. Your body, but not a face. Hmm. Huh. Y'all put smelly goods onto your face? Like, what is going on with this section of my face? It's pissing me off. Set the side of my nose. Y'all, it's gotta come together. I have nothing else. It has to come together. I got all sorts of yellow powders that I could have used. And I'm like, I don't want anything straight yellow. Cause then I'll be looking like, a, you know, one of the pumpkin patch kids, the whole jack-o'-lantern out here in these streets. And we not trying to do that. This right here is working my everlasting nerves. Okay, nerves, full nerves, full on nerves. What day is it? Is it Friday? Or is it Saturday? Do y'all ever get lost in the days of the week? Days of the week. Days of the week. <laughs> I am not a teacher. Maybe I should be. Well, I mean, in a sense, I'm a teacher. I be trying to teach y'all what I know. All right. That count? Does that count as a teacher? Teaching on the two 
teaching on the tube. Teaching on the tube, does that count as a teacher? Bronzer. Okay, so the last time I used a bronzer from what I thought I had, I had to throw it away because it was not a good bronzer, right? So the beauty store does not sell Revolution. They sell this Nika K pressed powder, which is what I'm gonna use to, y'all thought I wasn't gonna have something, huh? I know y'all thought I wasn't gonna have something. I did pick this up because I thought that it could, it could work as a bronzer. The bronzers that I saw at the store, I ain't gonna lie, I just wasn't feeling them. Kinda like this on my nose, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Get off of there. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Let me stop kidding around so much and get this look finished. All right, y'all. Y'all wish me luck. But y'all think that side compared to this side. This side looks so snatched. I'm gonna have to re-snatch that side. I feel like I went out. I colored outside the lines or something. This is not bronzer. This is foundation, and it's not giving me that that brown rosy look. It's darkening up my foundation. Woo. But it's definitely not giving what I wanted to have given it. I gotta find a bronzer. I'm going in with Jube. That's my Jube, Jube. I can't do that without, I gotta bronze myself or I'm gonna be looking crazy and I know it. Juvia's Places bronzer is very reasonable. They do sell it at Ulta and it is very reasonable, okay? Try not to get too far away from the base being what I said it was gonna be, which is beauty store brand. So I'm just blending these two together. There's nothing on this brush, nothing. I just dust my nose off with this brush earlier. That was it. I'm gonna go get some lapel, re-snatch this face right there. And that's that on that, okay? All right, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna do the blush. This is Nika K's Duo Blush, okay? This should be a nice blush. I don't know, it's nice and red. It, it should complement what I have on my face. So. What y'all think? Yeah, cute, 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 cute. That red is pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so what are y'all thinking? Yeah? No? Maybe? Would you? Would you not? We'll see. I don't know which one I should do. I did buy two. Um, I have the Nika K bronzer and then I have the Kiss bronzer. Which one would you like to see? I think I like the Kiss bronzer because it just it's just a darker, darker bronzy color. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna do this one, y'all. Do this one. But before I do that, I'm gonna set my set my face as soon as I find the setting spray that I bought from the beauty store. Hold up. Okay, so this one is by Nika K. And it is definitely a matte setting spray. Today we use a matte, okay? Just my favorite part of the makeup. It's setting. Oh, this smells good. Oh, this smells good. Okay, I think I'm done setting, but do I look orange once I set? Look at me. Oh my God. Let's let it dry down and see. This is so pretty, y'all. Look, it's definitely giving slap that glow. Okay, y'all know what I'm gonna do. Blending in this blender, beauty blender, beauty blender. A little dab on the nose. And for the video's sake, I'll just add some right here because I've seen my daughter do it, so I'm gonna do it. I don't know, she always be going from the forehead. Now that look ridiculous. Y'all like that? It might not be bad to y'all, it might just be bad to me. That hair. It do move. The hair, it do move. <laughs> this, you know what? I got this one because it said vamp. So I figured the vamp with the Transylvania, you know, I think both of those would work. So this is by LA Colors. Oh, I don't like pencils because they don't come off. Look at this. What in the devil? Oh, y'all can't see she nothing. <laughs> I'm 
I'm thinking that it might not be that bad, y'all. Like, it might actually look cute. Let's see. Before I get super excited. Soft matte. Clumpy as hell. Hmm. I like. I like. I like. Huh. Is it me or does it make my teeth look extra white? This is the final look with the Vamp Transylvania Lip from NYX in LA Colors. Tell me y'all thoughts on that because I'm liking this. This is real cute. It's giving very cute, very pretty. All right, so this is it, y'all. This is my final look. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification on your way out if you found anything of value in my video. And again, don't forget to check out my retie video. That's going to be fire. Trust me. If you're not on my log journey with me, you want to be there. Get there. Go there now. All right. Bye.